In this video, guys, I'm going to break down how I was able to do this shot here. Uh, again, I'm using just standard Blender cycles in this video. For those of you who do follow my channel, my name is Patrick Lavar. I do stuff in Blender Octane exclusively, but at the moment, my system is down. So I went back to Blender cycles because that's not going to keep me from making stuff, right? So I've got these two renders here that I've cranked out. Basically, in my Blender Octane community, we are doing a bi-weekly challenge. And this week's challenge is to come up with a hard surface model or some type of design so i've made this little cell phone here and instead of just showing off the cell phone i decided to kind of put this into a scene and tell a story so we have like the cell phone here sitting on the desk and you know maybe the guy just got home and then again you know the cell phone is uh, sitting on the bed and something like that so i'm going to walk through how i made these scenes using again in this case blender cycles how i was able to achieve everything let's get into it all right first thing first we are going to break down this shot first here we're going to break down the uh on the counter shot so it's a very very simple scene this is pretty much the whole scene here i won't be going into render view because i'm using a cpu again i have a uh, on this laptop i only have <laughs> literally eight gigs of ram uh intel core i7 that's it <laughs> so it's cpu it literally probably took at 500 samples it took about uh 55 minutes to render i will be staying out of render mode so here's the scene very simple very easy like again working to my limitation i know that i can't get all crazy with a bunch of stuff in the scene so i just keep it as minimal as possible i have this desk here which i downloaded off of uh, sketchfab and i'll have all the links down below for everything that i use then i also downloaded these books here some headphones again downloaded on sketchfab you're going to be hearing me say this a whole bunch of times again another remote here that i downloaded from sketchfab everything was literally from sketchfab these plants everything because I, I can't model i mean i can model stuff with this laptop that i'm using it also just decides to turn off whenever it wants so like even just making this render i maybe had it maybe crashed 10 15 times on me like i don't know what's wrong with it it's something it's old so i have this wall here because again we got the back wall i think i also have another wall here which is blocking light and this is us uh, Set to like a darker color to also subtract the white bounce because I guess I was also using an HDRI. Let me go and jump into the shade. And let's see the HDRI that I was using. I think I was using one of my Grayscale Gorilla HDRI, yeah, Creative Space. All right, there we go. So this is what we're basically looking with, looking like the scene, an interior room shot. Again, I had it by the window. I had the light coming off to the side, angled towards the back side here. You can see here is my camera, and I have the light coming here and again it's bouncing off this wall and it's bouncing off of this wall uh, that really helped me again trying to i watched gleb alexandra's uh cinematic course lighting course you get some a really good moody type of shots when you have the light coming either from the side or from the back opposite direction of the camera again in this case i'm using a little bit of bounce light here and you can see if we come down back into the shot here it's come we got the light it's actually almost more of a side light than anything but the way it's bouncing off of this back wall it's also lighting up the scene here and then on the right side here again i'm subtracting i have that set up to gray just to make it to get that contrast dark on this side light on this side here so we can get a little bit of contrast in between that so that was pretty much the scene set up here i even had these books here because i had a different angle and you could see it was just pure black right here and it was really distracting so i added the books and i took the copy of this book and just slid it right here just to make it look like there's something down there and it wasn't just pure blackness which was really distracting i did ended up grunging up top this desktop here again i used a of a uh, cup here you can see the cup, water stain cup here and i just basically let me throw and see what we how i threw that in there jump into that material let's go and look at the material on this here is the material now this one got a little bit complicated because i ended up adding in some dust later the base material was here this was already like i said i downloaded from sketch that so i just added in his material but i did add in a roughness map and this was the roughness map here i put on the top some smudges the coffee stain smudges and then what i did was i mixed that with another shade with just a diffuse shader of gray here used the color ramp to clamp that because what i wanted it to do was i wanted it to be a little bit more visible than it was because it was only showing up there so here it's like i added that gray color just so i can control how much i really want like i wanted to make it like it's kind of been like the varnish has been stained a little bit because of hot cups if you can see on this the phone here we do have a little bit of dust you can see at a glancing angle we can see more of the dust this was literally a setup that i had watched from an old uh what's his name uh blender guru is like his an old video like the video is like seven years old five or seven years old it's extremely old 
but I like the setup because it was extremely simple. I didn't want to do a particle system because my system wouldn't allow me to do a particle system. So this is doing it the, the image way, right? So what we got is here, we got this geo node here, the geometry node, sorry, and we're taking the normals of whatever your image or whatever your model is that up and down and we're isolating it down to just the no the top. So that basically if dust will fall on the top, we're using the layer weight to give it a glancing blow. So at certain angles, we will only see the dust. And then we have a gamma here to pump up the whole thing so we can see it a little bit better. And then here I have a dust image, which is a, a dust map that I got from a grayscale gorilla. And I'm using that to generate my looking of the dust got some clamping on here and then put that all together over overlay and then boom drop that in here so let's go into that a little bit deeper see if we can see some results if I grab the glass layer here isolate the glass and let's go ahead and zoom in on the glass we can kind of see it happening now if I come back in here let me just dis unplug it we're just seeing this all this one color here and this is the color that I use for the dust here so we're just seeing that so if I plug this back into the actual material here and let's see this is it basically this is the glass clean just with a couple of again I added in another um, roughness mask a smear map here just some smudges and a little bit of grime because you know our phone dirty dirty phone right basically screen looks dirty and that's what you got here it's very subtle there it is you can see it right there there it is it's very subtle nothing too much it wasn't the star of the show the star of the show is the phone not the the smudges on the phone right so I've got that going and then so what we do is we go ahead and we're just gonna plug this into the mix node because we're going to mix this whole setup on top matter of fact let me just plug that whole setup in and see what that looks like we can see it boom there it is that's what that's looking like and to see the layer weight if we look at it with the layer weight we're, we're getting that glancing blow that's the layer weight working so if i go that straight up down we don't see it the more angle we get there's the layer weight kicking in now you can see it and that is the the image the dust image again i wanted to give that dust some color so here is that node here is my dust my dust node i'm gonna plug that into the mix node and then i'm gonna plug this whole system and i wanted to mix it on top of what i already had please don't crash there it is there is the dust my free dust image with the layer weight connected on there so i'll set this up here again so if you guys want to take a picture of this i will have a google doc of all the assets i use the videos that i use to watch to, to make all this stuff for those of you in my blender octane community you will have the file with this and of course with all the other documentation and things like that so you guys can jump in the file play around see how i, I put things together i was really proud of that because like i was like man how am i going to get dust on this this technique like i can't wait to get back into octane because i'm going to use this same technique technique again it's gonna really save on resources like you don't have to do a particle system this looks I honestly like this system better than a particle now again you could do this and the particle system if you got the resources you know and then have a little pieces of hair standing up if you're getting in really close but for this close-up shot this got, worked out perfectly fine it took a lot of time just finding the right HD I spent most of the time on the lighting like trying to get the right HDRI to, to get the look that I wanted and then putting the you know the camera angle in different angles to try to get a great shot and you know not too much too much back wall and you know the wall color was kind of distracting and you got to really tweak it the composition and the lighting took the most time out of everything this phone was the whole objective of this scene like again like i said it was a, a community challenge and i put this whole phone together it was really cool i used this add-on called nd which i have in a video prior to this 